is playing some mind games with James Caleb Kitchens. Oh, no! So much for games. The games are over here as the hierarchy is going to work right now on Too Strong. Oh, boy. What a clothesline to start off this tag team match. And here's what's crazy. He's not... I guess officially a part of the tag match. He was just, oh no, 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 a split pile driver. Oh my goodness, one of the most dangerous moves in pro wrestling by one of the most dangerous tag teams in all of pro wrestling. That move has been banned in a lot of companies. Literally banned. And, and oh my Jay God. Too strong. He's shaking, Gerard. Jay Too Strong is in trouble. He's in big trouble. He's shaking, Gerard. He's in trouble. And oh. meanwhile, the hierarchy doesn't care. What is it that Murder One has in his hands? And the referee's distracted because of Jay Too Strong. Oh my gosh. Murder One has some sort of. What is that? Is it a kitchen utensil? Oh my Or is it a screwdriver? Un it looks like a screwdriver. Murder One is unhinged right oh now. Oh my gosh. You know, the irony of this matchup happening right now is that it was 300, oh gosh. Oh my oh goodness. My God. This is insane. It He's was 364 days ago where the hierarchy became the IWE Tag Team Champions. The team they defeated, the All-Star Special. And All-Star Special's in trouble right now. J2 Strong has been taken out of the equation and now this is a two-on-two -two matchup, so to speak, and I say so to speak, because James Caleb Kitchens is still out here in the corner of the hierarchy. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a huge main event here at Summer of 24 for the Tag Team Championship. But what a crazy way. What an intense way to start off this match, taking out J2 Strong. Well, it certainly is. And again, you got to think about what the higher... Oh, boy. And to no one's surprise, to no one's surprise, Huckabee is busted wide open. How much is he going to be able to participate in this match? It almost feels like the hierarchy went on a mission, and they said if we have to have a tag team match, we're going to put this in our advantage. So they took out J2 Strong, and it looks like they've taken out Huckabee, and now it's almost a handicap match with the hierarchy against Hold My Beer Hanson. Okay, James Caleb Kitchens and the hierarchy definitely set in the war room and had a game plan here tonight. They certainly did. And I, this, this, is, this is brutal to watch. This is actually taking me back to the top of the year. We've had a lot of callbacks here to IWE War Games, but in IWE War Games, we did see the All-Star Special on one side. We did see the hierarchy on the other, and uh, it was a rather brutal beating at that point. This match has been all hierarchy so far. It certainly has. In the All-Star Special, they have not had a good going all of 2024 here in IWA. I think back to that war game situation. And there's a count of one. It's more about, it, you know, it's more than about the championships right now. This has become personal. It's extreme, and it's been personal between the hierarchy and All-Star Special. Dating all the way back to this time last year when they won the Tag Team Championships. And you know, All-Star Special, they were flying high coming into the night. They were looking forward to getting this Tag Team Championship uh, opportunity because they got a huge Fatal Four victory in the May show. So they were riding high coming out here, but they're definitely not riding high right now. They certainly are. You know, you could make the argument that that uh, Fatal Four-Way Tag Team match that they had back at Never Stop Fighting gave them the opportunity to once again be number one contenders, but good Lord. When I tell you that uh, Huck is being eliminated from the equation such that this is a handicap match, I mean, that is literally what's happening in front of us. Gerard, I am sick to my stomach right now. I just took a look at uh, William Huckabee's uh, forehead. It just makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah, Huckabee's in big trouble. And Murder One, this is, this is what he and the Kenway like. Remember, Joe Black would have been here, but Joe Black again suspended with a 90-day restraining order courtesy of Paige Blackman. And of course, we are still in about day, what, 60 if she had that happen right after uh, the Never Stop Fighting show in May. Good point, Gerard. Out of two. And you know, back at the March show, Murder One made Huckabee uh, submit, and he's looking to make Hold My Beer Hanson submit here tonight. Absolutely. Murder One 
now making a big tag. And, you know, we've been referencing shows like IWE War Games, IWE Never Say Die, Never Stop Fighting. You can see all of these shows, our full collection, available right now on IWTV. It is there. Make sure you are checking that out. And for our international fans, you can also check us out on the International Wrestling Network as well. Check out all things connected to IWE there. But right now, the IWE Tag Team titles are up for grabs, and the hierarchy is, has been in complete control since even before the opening bell. William Huckabee just keeps getting knocked down. The Kenway had Hanson in that camel clutch, but Hanson, he had a little fight in him, fought out of that camel clutch. Yeah, just very little fight again. The hierarchy, as you mentioned, sat in the war room. They have strategized for this match impeccably. It started with them taking out J2 Strong. I mean, with a spike pile driver. Then the screwdriver there to the head, drawing blood there of, of course, uh, uh, William Huckabee. And we know Huckabee has had health challenges over the last couple of years. You know, we remember it was well documented, the heart attack that happened and his recovery and the like. And so this has been a really challenging space and period for him. Again, the hierarchy all over All-Star Special. Well, when James Caleb Kitchens first came to IWE, he had a game plan. And that game plan was to take over IWE, to become the new owner of IWE because of his hatred towards Tim Blackman. Well, that game plan has come to fruition. So now, so if there's anybody in the war room that can come up with the game plan, there's nobody else like James Caleb Kitchens. I'm going to say this respectfully, but perhaps I can call Mr. Kitchens Pinky. That is Pinky of Pinky in the Brain. Because Pinky's job very simply was to do what they do every night, try to take over the world. And that is indeed what James Caleb Kitchens has done here in IWE. He has taken over the IWE world with the hierarchy as his hired guns. They hold the Tag Team Championships. Think about what he did back at Never Stop Fighting when uh, James Caleb Kitchens stripped uh, Charlie Anarchy of the Mayhem Championship. He has been in full control of what IWE looks like and what he calls the uh, IWE is me era. It has been a roller coaster of emotion here tonight, Gerard. I I've never been part of an event such as Summer of 24. Five title matches here tonight which started with the IWE Women's Championship changing hands, something that we never thought we would see. 854 days, we saw who now the former champion is, Lindsey Snow, get arrested literally in the middle of a match. We've never seen anything like that in a cage match at that. She's been taken out of the building. Uh, we don't know what her future looks like right now. And uh, could it be bookended by another title change? It doesn't look likely right now, given the way the hierarchy is all over All-Star Special. Murder One has been looking for a uh, submission victory. Looks like the Kenway uh, looking for a knockout victory, but whoa, buddy, we got a tag. They did not want that moment to happen. Even though he's been bleeding, he is an angry man right now. That man being, of course, William Huckabee, who now is taking it to all the members of the hierarchy. And he has tons of history with the hierarchy. His relationship with Joe Black, his relationship with Murder One goes back many a years. And Caleb Kitchens tried to get in the ring, but you don't want to do that. You're not going to like the Huck when he's angry. Oh, but there's a drop kick. It amazes me that a man the size of Murder One, with all of the years he has, still can throw drop kicks. And what is, what is Murder One reaching for in his pocket? Another weapon, dare I say, of mass destruction. What is that? What in the world? Oh, come on. Does the referee not see that? Oh, no. He, I see why he does it because that's a, is that a fork? That's a fork. Don't you dare call for that bell. What? All the rules. This match is now going to be no disqualification. And Pitchens can change the rules at a moment's notice. It is a dis now it's a no disqualification match. 
and there's a fork literally in the head of William Huckabee. Oh my gosh. Somebody's got to stop this. Murder one is a dangerous man, Gerard. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, come on, come on. And the referee can't stop it. The referee is powerless at this point. Somebody do something about oh, this. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I can't take this no more. I can't watch, Gerard. Somebody do something about this. Wait a minute. I can't watch. Wait a minute. If you, if you look up at the ramp, look up at the ramp. Tim Blackman. Tim Blackman is here, and, and Blackman, he has a towel in his hand. Is he going to throw in the towel? Because there's no way to stop this. Oh, oh no. Oh, my goodness. Tim Blackman threw in the towel. Thank God. Thank God for Tim, Tim Blackman. Tim Blackman threw in.